All right, so get 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 nice and comfy in your seat. Just sit back, relax, do all your little do all your little things. <clears throat> Take a moment just to settle in, and then start to just wiggle your toes. Start to notice the floor underneath your feet, and then see if you can just close your eyes down. Keep wiggling your toes. Move them just in any organic way that feels good, but just wiggle them around. Really get them moving and grooving, almost to the point where you've created a little bit of warmth in your feet. So you can crunch them up, smush them around, give them a good gentle, gentle wiggle, maybe just pull the toes up and then lower them down. Anything that feels good. Take one or two more moments here. Just let the feet get a little bit warm. And then let your toes soften, let your feet get nice and heavy and allow that heaviness to just sort of flow up your legs and let everything soften into your chair. And then once you found a little quieter softness throughout your body, tune back down to your feet with a stillness and just notice the floor beneath your feet. And then if your feet are bare, just notice maybe the cool air or notice the temperature of the air on top of your feet. And with that awareness down at your feet, maybe just invite a sense of grounding or foundation there. We, we load our feet about 95% of the day. So just get a sense of that really solid foundation that we might take, take for granted for, from time to time. And then see if you can start to slow down your inhalation and slow down your exhalation. But with each exhalation, can you allow a sense of heaviness to come into your feet? Almost as if they're just trying to ground a little bit further onto the earth. Nice. And then before we move away from this space, take a moment here to just set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and just treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Awesome. And then with that intention set, <clears throat> bringing your awareness back down to your feet with just a little bit more of an intention of our movement. So as you inhale, you're just gonna allow the toes to lift away from the floor. And then as you exhale, just let your toes soften back down to the earth, keeping the balls of the feet and the heels connected to the ground. Inhale and let the toes lift up. And exhale, let your toes soften down. Inhale, let the toes lift. Exhale, let the toes soften. And if you can keep your eyes closed, just connecting to your feet. And now we're gonna go a little bit further. So as you inhale, let the toes lift, let the balls of the feet lift. Feel a little bit of a muscular engagement in the muscles that run along the outsides of the shins. And then as you exhale, let the feet soften back down. Inhale, toes lift, balls of the feet lift. And then exhale, lower them down. And one more, just like that. Inhale, lift the toes, lift the balls of the feet. And exhale, let everything soften down. Now we're gonna bring our awareness up to our hands. So if your palms are facing down, just flip them over so palms are facing the sky. Again, keeping your eyes closed if you can, just so that you can tune in and pay attention more to sensation rather than what things look like. On an inhale, curl your fingers in like you're making a little fist and give a little squeeze. And then as you exhale, open your hands wide, but give a little stretch, like you're reaching through the fingers. And then inhale, roll the fingers in, give a little squeeze. And then exhale, roll the fingers out, but stretch them wide, reach through the fingers. One more, just like that. Inhale, roll the fingers in, give a little squeeze. And exhale, roll the fingers out. <clears throat> nice. And then flip the palms facing down to the thighs. On your next inhale, just start to lift your back away from your chair. So start to sit up nice and tall and then tune back into your feet. Can you put a little tiny press into the feet? 
feel your legs get a little bit more grounded and a little bit more energized, and then become aware of the chair underneath your butt and underneath your thighs. And then just tune into your, to your torso, to your center, to your chest, and to your nose. And with your eyes closed, if you can, lean forward just slightly, and then see if you can pull your shoulders back or pull the ribs back so you find yourself with your head, your heart, and your hips in a line. And then lean your heart forward just slightly. So there's just a little tiny hinge from your hips and then pull it all back and line yourself up again. And see if you can do that one more time. Just lean forward slightly and then pull yourself back, line yourself up. Head, heart, hips are in line. And then see if we can connect to the shoulders with the eyes closed. Inhale, let the shoulders lift up to the ears. And exhale, let your shoulders soften and melt down. Inhale, shoulders lift up to the ears, a little squeeze in the muscles alongside the neck. And then exhale, shoulders soften down. One more just like that. Inhale, let the shoulders lift. And exhale, shoulders melt down. And then from here, keeping the eyes closed again, only if you can, walk yourself forward in your seat just a little bit. So you're just going to scoot your bum forward so your butt finds the middle of your chair and your feet are nice and firmly planted on the ground. And then we're going to reach the hands forward and see if you can catch hold of your knees. And all of this with the eyes closed, just so that we can tune into the proprioception. Where is your body connected to space? Where is your body connected to the rest of your body parts? And we'll move right into a cat and cow breath. As you inhale, lift your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles in, round your shoulders, and then just tuck chin in towards your chest. Inhale to lift your heart, squeezing shoulder blades together. And exhale, round the back, tuck chin to chest. One more, just like that. Eyes closed if you can. Inhale, lift your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale and round your back. Nice, and then find a nice neutral spine. Let your hands just rest comfortably on your thighs. Open your eyes now if it feels good. And then we're gonna inhale, lift the chin upward towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest, keeping your shoulders down and back. Inhale, lift your chin up. And exhale, tuck the chin down. And one more, just like that. Inhale, lift your chin up. And exhale, tuck your chin down. Nice, and then bring your head to a nice neutral space. Left hand's gonna touch down to the chair, right hand's gonna reach up. We're gonna take three gentle side bends. And we're just gonna lean in just a little bit and lift right back up. And then let your sit bones be heavy and settled into the chair. Lean in, maybe go just a little bit deeper and then lift yourself back up. And then one more, just like that, lean over, lift yourself up and then float that hand down and we'll take it to the other side. So touch the side of the chair, arm reaches up, lean in just a little bit. Lift up and then find that nice heavy sense of your sits bones and then lean a little bit further and bring it back up. And then one more just like that. Lean in, take a nice big reach and then lift it back up and float your hand down. Nice. And then toe heel your feet just a little bit wider. So about shoulder width distance apart. And then we're gonna take it into a twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee. And we'll rotate gently to the left and think about getting nice and tall here. Take a nice big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Awesome, and then inhale, come to center and take it over to the other side. So left hand finds the right knee, rotating to the right, take a nice big inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Inhale, come back to center, and we're gonna twist to the other side again. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, twist to the left, but now we're gonna take the left hand to shoulder height, flip the palm and add a little side bend. So we're just gonna reach up alongside the ear and then stay here for three cycles of breath. Nice, big inhale, slow exhale. And as you breathe here, can you tune into the ribs and the side body and just feel that breath on the inside but that notice that nice opening and stretching sensation that the breath offers. One more breath. Nice, and then gently release. Take a second to come to center, pause, close your eyes, take a nice big breath. Notice how one side might feel a little different than the other. Awesome, and then we're gonna twist to the other side. So find that knee, find that nice rotation, pause for a moment, 
And then if you like, take your right hand to shoulder height, flip the palm, reach it up alongside your ear, finding that side bend, and then take three cycles of breath here, tuning into the side body, noticing that nice stretching sensation that the breath offers. Beautiful, one more breath. And then nice and easy, release that hand down, rotate back to center, pause in the center, take a nice big inhale, slow exhale. Nice, and then we're gonna start this little step of our feet. So we're gonna think about swinging the foot out from the hip socket. We're just doing a nice little rotation out and then stepping in. And you can just keep it at a pace that feels good, but we just wanna find a little bit of warmth and fluidity in the hips. So step to one side and then the other, and just put yourself in your chair in a position that your, your leg can easily glide from side to side. If you're catching in a fabric chair, just kind of rearrange yourself maybe towards the front edge of your chair, just a little bit more, if that feels like a better way to go. <clears throat> nice, take one more time each side or even yourself out. And then bring it back in and we're gonna start just a little bit of a march. So we're just gonna pick the knees up and lower the knees down. Beautiful, one more time each side. And then we're gonna stay with the left leg. So we're gonna lift that left knee up and then just take a couple of bends and straightens of the leg. So we're gonna keep the leg lifted and engaged. So you might feel a little bit of a muscular work in the top of the thigh, but keep that leg lifted slightly. Awesome, and then we're gonna send the heel out, still keeping that leg lifted. So you're still doing a lot of work in that leg. And then we're gonna rotate the foot in and out. Beautiful, one more in and out. And then bend that knee, set it down, pause for a second. Notice how one side feels a little different than the other. Cool, and then we're gonna lift the other leg up and find that bend and straighten. So we're gonna keep that leg lifted and send the heel out and then pull it back in. <clears throat> nice, and then keep the heel out, keeping the leg lifted. So we're keeping that work going and then find that little turn out of the foot and then point the toes back up towards the ceiling. Nice, one more in and out. And then gently bend that knee, set it down and we're gonna start to stomp our feet. So just a nice light stomp of the ground. If you've got neighbors underneath you, you might wanna keep it lighter or if you wanna wake them up, make it a little heavier. And then we're just gonna to start to move around the feet. So take it into the toes, to the balls of the feet, to the blade edges of the feet, to the heels and then really stomp it all around any which way you like, just really stimulating the bottom of the feet and then let it all come to stillness, close your eyes, take a nice big breath. Awesome, and then scoot your butt forward just a little bit more so you really find the front edge of your seat. Bring your hands down at your sides into your mountain pose. You're gonna anchor into your feet and press up through the crown of your head. On an inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, look to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Nice. And then we'll go a little bit further. Inhale, arms up, look up. And as you exhale, dive your heart forward. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften back down. Pull your abdominal muscles in and roll up through the spine. One vertebrae at a time and then draw the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Roll them around down and back. Find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold it all down. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, round and roll up, roll the shoulders up to the ears, around down and back, back to your mountain pose. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold it all down. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up through the spine, roll the shoulders up to the ears, around down and back. Beautiful. And now lift the left knee up, pull it up towards the chest and then draw some gentle circles. Go in one direction. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And then go in the other direction. Nice. And then pull it up a little bit closer to the chest if you can, or just scooch it out a little bit around the, the ribs so you have some space. And then draw your nose towards your knees. Get a little bit of a rounding in the upper back body. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Lovely. And then gently release that foot down. And we're going to take it to the other side. So we're going to catch hold of that knee, lift it up, draw some nice big circles, go in one direction. Awesome, and then draw those circles, go the other way. Nice, and then pull that knee into the chest, round the upper back body, drawing your nose towards your knee. Beautiful, and then gently release it all back down, find your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold it all down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Right hand over to the left shin. Left hand reaches up for a little twist. And then release that hand down. We're going to slide up the shin. Pull the knee up towards the chest. Give a light little squeeze. And release back to mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold it all down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches up. Beautiful, float that hand down. We're gonna slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, give a little squeeze and release back to mountain pose. Nice, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold it all down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right hand over to the left shin, left hand reaches for a twist. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring the nose to the knee. Hang on to that knee, but lift up just a little bit. We're gonna take a single hand hold, swing it out nice and wide, circle your foot in one direction, and then circle your foot the other way. Beautiful, bring it all back in, release that foot down, back to mountain pose. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches up. Release that hand down, slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring the nose to the knee. Awesome, and then release, and then we'll swing that leg out and circle the foot, go in one direction. and then circle your foot the other way. Beautiful, and then bring it back in, set that foot down. Now we're gonna toe heel the feet out. So just walk your feet out nice and wide and then bring your hands right to the insides of the knees and then just make sure your bum is in a nice position. So make sure the chair feels good underneath you. And we're gonna start a little bit of a twisting action. So right shoulder is gonna come towards the left knee. Inhale, come back to center. Left shoulder towards the right knee. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale as you twist. Inhale to bring it back in. Exhale to twist. Inhale to bring it back in. One more time each side. Exhale to twist. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, twist. And bring it back in. Nice. And then keeping this nice wide configuration, take your left elbow to the knee. We want to think about pulling the ribs up and away from the thigh. Take your top arm, reach it up nice and high. Get a nice little side bend. Beautiful. And then switch to the other side. Elbow to the knee, ribs lifting away from the thigh. Extend and reach long through that arm. Awesome. And then bring it all back up and in. Toe, heel those feet in just a little bit. So we're going to still keep a nice wide configuration, but keep your butt nice and firm on the ground. And then start to lean your chest forward. See how that feels. And then keep a nice long line of the spine as you lift back up. And then we're gonna lean forward, maybe go just a little bit further. So lean out just to your comfort level, nice long line, and then lift yourself back up, beautiful. And then this time we're gonna lean forward and see if you can reach your hands down and find the ground. So we're coming into a little bit of a wide fold position. Arrange your bum so it feels comfortable on the chair and we're just gonna soften everything down. So see if you can 
soften the back side of your body. Let your head hang nice and heavy. Soften the back of your neck. Take three nice big breaths here. Beautiful, nice and easy. Walk yourself back up and in. Bring your hands up to your knees. Lift yourself up gently. Toe, heel those feet in. Find your mountain pose. Make sure your bum feels good and comfortable on the chair. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften, right hand over to the left shin. Left hand reaches for a little twist. And then right away, release it back down, slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring the nose to the knee, get a little rounding in the upper back body. Awesome. And then we're going to lift up and then see if we can swing that leg out nice and wide and find a little bit of a 90 degree angle here. And then take it into your side bend. So elbow is going to come to the knee, lengthen through that side. Beautiful, and then lift it back up. Now we're gonna step that front foot to meet. So we're gonna swing that foot to the side. So we've got a little side seat and then rotate towards the back of the chair. So both hands to the back of the chair, head turns with you. Think about getting nice and tall here. Take a big inhale. Awesome, and then unwind. So we're facing the sides and then we're gonna come into a warrior two position. So we're gonna take the leg that's towards the outside and start to rearrange yourself so that you can find that corner of the chair. And then we're gonna keep one leg out to the side and extend the other leg out. So we're gonna reach long so the hips are angled out at the side. And then once you've found a position that feels comfortable with the legs, extend the arms out to shoulder height and then find a nice reach through the fingertips. Gaze past your left hand and take a nice big breath. Beautiful. Now we're going to take it into a peaceful warrior. So we're going to drop the back hand, reach the front hand up. Awesome. And then take it into a side angle. So elbow is going to come to the knee and the top arm is going to reach up. Nice. And then float it through warrior two into that peaceful warrior. So back hand's going to touch the thigh, front hand's going to reach. And then back to that side angle, elbow to the knee, arm extends alongside the ear. Lovely. One more time, just like that. Hand to the thigh, arm extends up. Nice, and then bring it back to that warrior two position, soften the knee that is extended long, and then find your way back to the front of your chair and give everything a nice little switch. Beautiful, feet on the ground, find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left hand to the right shin, right hand reaches up. And then right away, bring it down. We slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. Nice, and then release. And we're gonna step that foot out to the side, finding a nice 90 degree angle. And then elbow to the knee, arm extends up, take a little side bend. Beautiful, lift it all up. And now we're gonna step that front knee over to me. So we're sitting in a side position. And now we're gonna rotate towards the back of the chair, finding a little twist. Think about getting nice and tall. Nice, and then unwind just a little bit. We're gonna step that leg out and then scoot your bum forward just a little bit so you find that corner of the chair so that you can slide that leg out. And we really just wanna make sure the chair feels comfortable underneath your seat. And so once you've got yourself in a good position, arms extend out to shoulder height, reach nice and energetically through the fingertips. Beautiful, take it into a little peaceful warrior. Drop the back hand, reach the front hand up. And then into side angle, elbow to the knee, arm extends up alongside the ear. And we wanna keep those ribs lifting away from the thighs. Nice, lift up into peaceful warrior. And back to that side angle. Beautiful, lift up into peaceful warrior. And then take it into your warrior two position. Soften that back knee. And then swish everything back around to the front of the chair and give your knees a little windshield wiper action, just soothe and everything out, soothe out those hips, make sure your tush feels comfortable on the chair. And now from here, we're gonna step our feet forward, but in a wide position. So we're gonna keep a nice generous bend in the knees, nice wide space. So we have plenty of room for the belly and the chest, and then just start to lean your heart forward, go as far as you like, let your hands slide down the shins, catch hold of the toes. So we feel that nice little grounding connection, completing that circuit. So hands touching the feet, 
Let your head drop down, take a nice big breath. Lovely, nice and easy. Walk yourself back up and in. And we're gonna step those feet a little bit closer. And now we're gonna pick up the left knee, pick up the left heel, give that leg a good little rock side to side. Awesome, and then bring it right into a little figure four shape. So maybe across the top of the thigh, maybe across the ankle, whichever configuration feels safer and better for your knees, for your hips. And then once you've got a position that feels really good, a little bit of a lightness in your foot, lean your chest forward and come to a fold that feels comfortable to you. Maybe finding a little sensation in the outside of the hip, but just tune in, where are you feeling sensation in your body? And then see where can you soften? Can you just let your body sort of soften and settle into this shape? One more breath and then come up nice and slow. Help lift that leg up and off. Give it a little rock. Awesome. And then set that foot down and we'll take it to the other side. We're going to grab that knee, grab that heel, give the leg a little rock. Beautiful. And then bring it into your figure four shape, whichever you like, across the thigh or across the ankle, whichever feels like a better way to go. Think about getting nice and tall here, a little bit of aliveness in your foot, and then lean yourself forward, come into a fold that feels right to you. And then once you've found your way there, see where can you soften. When you're ready, nice and easy, lifting from the top of your head, let your heart follow, help lift that leg up, give it a little rock side to side. <clears throat> awesome, and then set that leg down and then just start to scoot your bum back in your seat. So we're really starting to work our way towards the back of the edge of the chair, but we're gonna still sit up nice and tall. Drop your left ear over to your left shoulder and then just take a couple of gentle nods of the head up and down. Lovely, and then roll your chin across the chest and take it to the other side. So right ear to right shoulder. Once you found your way there, give a gentle nod of the head up and down. Nice, and then roll your chin down to your chest, stay there and make a couple little figure eights. So just kind of rolling around the back of the neck, just creating a little soothing maneuver, make sure it feels good and fluid. Beautiful, and then lift your head to a more neutral space. You're gonna scoot your butt back in your chair, sit back, relax, get yourself all sorts of settled in. Find a nice comfortable position for your feet, find a nice comfortable position for your hands. And then if it feels like the right way to go, close your eyes down or just soften your gaze. Maybe you stare at a little point on the floor. And then allow a moment or two here for just a, that soft quieting down. Let your legs find a nice soft landing. Let go of any efforting in the toes. Let go of any efforting in the feet. Allow your calves and your shins to be heavy, knees are soft. Allow for a letting go in the belly. So if you have a tendency to want to hold that tummy in and keep it firm, just let go here. Let your belly be soft. Let it be round. Let it be whatever it is. Let your hips be soft and heavy. <clears throat> let your chest be soft and heavy, leaning about, back against your chair. And then just let your shoulders soften down. Invite a sense of softness into your lips. Let your tongue soften away from the roof of your mouth. Allow your jaw to be soft.
Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Invite some gentle movements into the fingers, some gentle movement into the toes. Maybe reawaken the, whist, the wrists and the ankles. And then if it feels really good, find a good morning stretch, like a yawn, stretch your legs out, stretch your arms up, find a little reach through the fingers, through the toes, take a nice big breath. And then slowly, gently, mindfully release it all down, lift your back away from the chair, and then just sit yourself forward in your seat just a little bit so you can find a nice tall seated position. Awesome. We're going to take hold of our fingers and give a little pull. So you're going to take your right hand and just grab the left thumb, give it a little pull, pull all the way down to the tip of the finger. Be gentle and mindful. You don't want to hurt yourself, but just a nice squeeze of the thumb and pull towards the fingertip and then grab the index finger, squeeze and pull. Grab your middle finger, squeeze and pull. Grab your ring finger, squeeze and pull. And then grab your pinky finger, squeeze and pull. Nice, and then take it to the other side. Grab your thumb, give it a little tug. Squeeze all the way down to the end of the finger. Grab your index finger, squeeze and pull. Middle finger, squeeze and pull. Ring finger, squeeze and pull. And pinky finger, squeeze and pull. Nice, and then bring your prayer hands, heart center and Anjali Mudra. Bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and the time that you take to take care of yourself. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, let go of anything you're holding onto that won't serve you through the rest of your day. Gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Wednesday.